Hello and welcome to Cambria Downtown Asheville. Here's what you need to know if you're looking to stay at Cambria Downtown Asheville. I'm Christy. This is Happily Forever's After Travels. Today, I'm going to take you to Cambria in downtown Asheville. We're going to go inside the hotel. I'm going to show you the surrounding area. And we're also going to look at not just one, but three different room tours. I'll show you the conference space in case you're looking for a place to host your conference or special gathering. I'll give you some tips on how to get the best rate. And towards the end, we'll chat about the pros and cons of this property, who should stay here, or who shouldn't. And at the very end, I'll give Cambria an overall rating on my happy scale. All right, come on, let's go explore. Before we take a look inside, here's an overview of the property and what's in the surrounding area. Cambria has a great location if you want to be in the heart of downtown Asheville activity. Down the road a few blocks is a pinball museum where you can play unlimited games for a small fee. It's a great way to spend part of your day if you have kids or if you're a retro gaming enthusiast. It's not hard to find a variety of shopping and dining options, just a hop, step, and a holler outside the hotel lobby. Directly across the street is the Grove Arcade, a popular hangout for both locals and tourists. The Grove Arcade is a historic architectural landmark that combines a mix of shops and restaurants that reflect Asheville's quaint but quirky characteristics while paying respect to the building's history. One thing that I really love about the Grove Arcade is the Maker's Market. When the season and weather is agreeable, there's an outdoor bazaar with dozens of stalls filled by local artists and selling their crafts. You'll find handmade jewelry, paintings, clothing, soap, and musical instruments, local honey and farm products, and all kinds of fun and creative handmade goods. The Maker's Market is the perfect place to dive into local culture and take in the charm of downtown Asheville. Here, you can get a little glimpse of the Maker's Market from Cambria's rooftop restaurant and bar. I mean, that's really how close it is. If you're looking to enjoy Asheville like a local and you're here on a Friday night, you can walk a few blocks over to Pritchard Park, where locals gather for a drum circle when the weather is nice. You're welcome to bring your own drum or they have loners so that you can join in or just sit and relax or do a little dance. Some of my favorite nearby places to grab a bite that you may want to check out for yourself are Babette's, a New Orleans style coffee shop in the Grove Arcade that specializes in both savory and sweet sandwiches made from beignets. They're amazing. Here we have a churro and a caprese sandwich. And these are the plain Jane egg and sausage breakfast beignet sandwiches. Mm, so good. Yeah, everything's better with powdered sugar. Also in the Grove Arcade, I adore the Battery Park Book Exchange, a used bookstore and champagne bar. I mean, come on, used books and champagne. Yes, please. So here you can grab a bite to eat or sip on a wine or champagne and enjoy a dish with a cleverly themed names like, uh, look at these, some of these, these are so cute. The Secret Life of Cheese and the Hummus Games. I love that, that's so funny. And bonus. They do offer dairy-free, vegan, and gluten-free options. Meander through a maze of three-story bookshelves as you sip on a glass. Enjoy people watching on the outdoor patio right next to the Maker's Market. I love the feel of the wind in my hair, a good drink, a nice snack. This is what it's like to just enjoy the vibe of this wonderful city. Where it's a champagne and pie kind of day. <laughs> Look at this. This is the absolute cutest. When you're done, they brought my receipt in a Dr. Seuss cat in the hat book. I'm in love. People who have been here before have signed it, so I am too. Here I am now commemorating my glorious time spent with my bubbly books and bites. A couple blocks down the street, the opposite direction from the Grove Arcade, is Issa's French Bistro, the sister restaurant of Cambria's on-site dining venue, Hemingway's. It has a lovely ambiance with the choice of indoor seating or dog-friendly outdoor seating. I highly recommend their mouth-watering steak and fries. 
No matter how you arrive, rental car, Uber, Lyft, or walking, you'll enter Cambria right here on the lower parking garage level directly across the street from the Grove Arcade on Page Avenue. This is where you'll find the guest entrance as well as the entrance for the parking garage. Parking is valet only and is currently $17 per night with no options for self-parking on property. As you enter the lobby, there's a chic, minimalistic, but cozy vibe that reflects the hip modern feel of the city and combines it with relics of time past to honor the original purpose of the building. Even though we're on parking garage level, the big open windows give it a bright and open feel. The lobby has a small sundry shop with a microwave, some snacks and beverages. This is also where you can find the ATM machine in the front desk. This is also where they greet you with a smile and a chill champagne reception upon check-in. Nice touch, Cambria. Give you extra points for the welcome glass of champagne. Cheers. They have a workout room that has the basic cardio and weight equipment and is adequate for the size of the hotel. Hemingway's Cuban restaurant and bar is the crowning glory of Cambria downtown Asheville. The mountain and sunset views are one of the best in the downtown area, and the owner, being of Cuban descent, ensures that the authentic Cuban menu is one of the best view in the area. Palm trees, distant mountains, an air of lighthearted laughter mingled with a southern breeze. The magic of the open-eared patio transports you to Cuba itself. Even if you don't stay at Cambria as a guest, you're still welcome to dine in the restaurant or enjoy the bar and terrace even when the restaurant isn't open. You'll find Hemingway's on the fourth floor. Current hours are typically 7 to 2 for breakfast and lunch and 4.30 to 10 for dinner. If you're a sunset chaser, this is one spot you'll want to add to your list. Trust me, it's awesome. The space at Hemingway's is also a possible area for you to rent for special occasions and conferences. It's best to have a reservation even just for a dinner, so I'll include a link below for easy access. That leads us to our formal conference space. Cambria has 10 different conference venues with a capacity of 300 people. They have 136 rooms with three suites, and they have partitions that can be added or removed to create space specific to your needs. Now it's time to take a peek into the actual rooms. This first room is 1005, a double queen room. Right away, I'm struck by the size of the room and the character of the brick wall. I love it. This room screams modern chic. Let's check out the bathroom first. I always love a sliding door, nice tub, I love the light around the mirror. There's a coffee station, a very Instagram old chair and coffee table in the corner. Oh my God. Look at that view. You'd have a perfect sunset right here from your own room. I love it. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Join me now as we make our way to room 1016, a corner king room. Oh, well, this is really nice. It has a loft feel. Again, that Instagram little corner. Love that seat and chair. Love this little light strip between the bed and the office. Let's go check out room 620, an accessible room. Oh, it's very spacious. It's important to note that not all accessible rooms have a roll-in shower. 
Some have a tub, some have a shower. If you have a preference, please note it when you book and then mention it again at check-in. Now that we've looked in and around Cambria, it's time to rate it on my happy scale that goes from sad, meh, happy, happier, and happiest. What rating does Cambria get on my scale? I give them four happy faces, which is the happier rating. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this property so you can see what I loved and the few cons that kept them from getting the five happy faces, which is the happiest rating. Let's start with the pros. First off, you cannot beat the location. There's so many shopping, dining, and activity opportunities right outside of Cambria's doorstep. This hotel has a lot of special details that gives it character and ties into the feel and history of the city. You certainly don't get a feel that you're in a canned cookie cutter hotel when you're in Cambria. The champagne reception at check-in is also a really nice touch. I love that. I'm also impressed with the quality and size of their conference and meeting space. While Cambria isn't cheap, it's standard in pricing as other hotels in the same category in the downtown area and has that boutique feel with those extra special touches. I really think it's a good value for the price. And I love Hemingway's rooftop restaurant and bar as it's one of the best views of the mountain city and sunset in the downtown area. And it also is one of the few restaurants in the area where you can get authentic Cuban food. Now on to the cons. The first con is that the only on-site parking option is the valet at $17 per night. If you're looking to save a few bucks by self-parking, it's not going to happen in the hotel parking garage. Next is that not all accessible rooms have a roll-in shower. If it's a necessity for you, it's important to be proactive and make sure that your room has the type of showering options that you need if available. The third con is that while I love Hemingway's Cuban cuisine, there isn't a wide variety of on-site dining if you have a large group or picky eaters in your party. There is a small selection of mac and cheese, chicken fingers and burgers, and other things that are on the kids' menu. But other than that, if you need a menu with a wider variety of options, you'll have to go off property to find it. Thankfully though, because of the location, you won't have to go far. Lastly, is that dogs are not allowed outside of the approved service animals. Asheville's known as Dog City USA, being one of the friendliest dog cities in the U.S. and the only city to have a doggy welcome center that's just a few do blocks down the street. I find it unfortunate that our canine friends aren't welcome in such a city. That's really all I have for the cons, though. None of them are huge and certainly not anything that would be a deal breaker for me. I will definitely come back for a stay. This hotel is great for those who want to be in the heart of the city, love a hip and trendy vibe, or those who need conference or social gathering space for 300 people or less. This is not a good place for traveling with pets, unless it's a service dog, or looking to host a larger conference or gathering of more than 300 people. It may also not be the right place if you're looking for the cheapest place to stay. That being said, if you are traveling on a budget, Cambria is a Choice Hotels property, so if you're a Choice Rewards member, you can book this property with your points, or you can rack up points with, re with your rewards program with your stay. They also offer some package bundles to help you save some money, such as the bed and breakfast package, a park and stay package, a romance package. They also offer military and veteran discount rates as well as AAA discounts too. I do have a pro tip for you. If you're flexible with your dates, you can go to this Expedia site that I have linked for you in the description below. And you can pull up a calendar that shows you the fluctuation of rates for each day. You'll be able to see exactly what days are cheaper, which ones are more, and you'll even find that some days can be up to 40 to 50%, sometimes more, cheaper than the most expensive days. There you have it, Cambria Downtown Asheville. What do you think? Is this the type of place you'd like to stay? 
What was your favorite aspect of the property? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the like button. That helps me to know what you like and also helps boost the video and the YouTube algorithm so others will see it too. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I post other videos like this one. I'd love to have you become part of my Happily Forevers After Travel community. Thank you so much for joining in. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Happy travels!